now then then I have kBT ln q to the power n is n ln q then uh, because there is q to the power n and minus ln factorial this n comes because there is exponent here in qn and this uh, and this comes because n factorial then what is something is uh, jumped here but I hope you will be able to do that I put now q to the power this is q my q so q to the power n has become small ln q so this becomes what we have in the last a page this quantity you have to do n ln n by n e to the power n all these factors come here and uh, this n becomes n cavity this factor come, uh, this factor that is here with a square everything this thing that a ln v by e that uh, ln v is not from there that comes that v comes from this v all Starling's approximation gives this this factor v by n to the power e that is uh, play the very very important role as we will see right now. So, if this is the free energy which is following from this from there we get we do this this is a little unstable from this then we get this then we take the derivative the, uh, the pressure minus dA dVt and uh, thermodynamics then we get if we do that then all these things since they are log all of things this do not matter these do not matter I just get 1 over V because it is ln V 1 over V then gives n cavity by V and this PV n cavity. So, this is the ideal gas which was written down by people from Boyle's time from 1830s or 1840s something which uh, A used Maxwell used but there was no derivation. Uh, PV equal to RT was a derived kinetic theory of gas derived it by using remember P equal to 1 third MNC square and then you put a C square there you get this quantity and but that is I told you kind of theory of gas had this kind of strange set of assumptions within it it does not interact but at the same time it has a size and it is uh, interacting with the wall having a elastic scattering like a billiard ball as a, a the basic idea that it is a non interacting collection of particles and that gives rise to this ideal gas law was proven. So, these are the as I told you in the beginning these are beginning of the applications of statistical mechanics. So, this is one of the result. Then this next result is that this, this is very very important thing that I told you Sakur Tetra equation and the Sakur Tetra equation follows trivially. Then you go now take it with respect to entropy is negative temperature derivative of uh, free energy okay and that when you do I take d d t what I can see what can happen I can ha it can uh, this is t to the power 3 by 2 here. So, that will become uh, t to the power 5 by 2. So, first term I take d a d t first term will just take remove this term uh, and have n k b l n 2 by k t 3 by 2 okay. Then second term n k b t remains n k b t I go and do derivative of this term when I do l n there inside then uh, all these things disappear they are locked term I do not have to take care of them I have to take care of 3 by 2 3 by 2 when I take a derivative it become 3 by 2 comes out and it becomes uh, t to the power 1 by 2 because ln t 3 by 2 1 over t 3 by 2 and then you can combine the and the 1 t there that comes in and that hits you with the 3 by 2. So, that again become 5 uh, okay 1 by 2 the 1 by this become 1 by 2 you hit by uh, again t it again become 3 by 2 and when you do that ultimate result is 2 pi by I am not deriving it is fairly trivial but you can do it because it is just ordinary derivation. So, this quantity this is the expression of entropy of an ideal gas which plays a very important role we will show right now is called the Sakur Tetra equation. 
this equation is given when the volume constant, but I can use this equation it's with an ideal gas, I can derive more useful equation which is this equation which is really not given in your textbooks. You use volume PV equal to NKBT. So, if PVT is the MKBT, V by N, V by N is equal to KBT by P and then KBT by P, okay. So, this is the one that is used because most of the time we are working with NPT ensembles or NPT. Yeah. So, in that case, this is the Sakutator equation. So, please ask me if there is any problem, if there is any confusion in deriving this equation. Is everything clear? I am not doing it a by a, line by line, but I have explained to you how deriv taking derivative of that you get uh, this term coming out log is preserved here because first is this term and then you have the a term r. Everything remains log and uh, kbt ln terms remain then that become uh, 3 by 2 that is why 3 by 2 comes then it multiplied by that is absorbed the extra term that comes has been absorbed here. Remember a ln 5 by ln E 5 by 2, what is that? What is ln E 5 by 2? Exactly 5 by 2. Uh, so, that term, this, these were absorbed, the 3 by 2 factor is absorbed, okay. Uh, so, that is, this is a very elegant and nice result, which as I told you in the beginning that is widely used these there's many many cases is widely used and amazing that such simple result can find so much use and what is more useful than this which is not usually given in textbook is this quantity except one book who uses that that's why when researchers write books or give uh, courses this is a little better the one place i found it is not in macquery not in hill but i found it is in uh, ben widom's new uh, little book for undergraduate statistical mechanics, very popular book, just about 100, uh, not even 100 pages probably, but he did actually only up to the atomic gas and a little bit of that, not beyond that, you know, elementary level, but he has this equation. I needed this equation because when we were doing nuclear theory of nucleation in a constant, uh, this under this condition, which is the experimental condition, right, much of our time then I needed that, that is where I uh, came back and I was, I was uh, very happy uh, to be able to, I did it myself, I was very happy, the trivial step, but sometimes doing something new trivial is very nice, okay. So, Sakutator equation, there are many applications as I tell, one is evaluation of the entropy of ideal gas, which is used in these, uh, 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 let me write down this, this is in, in total from my, my StatMac book. Uh, line by line, probably the mistakes you find here will mistakes will also be there. So, please just go through the book once and let me know if there are any mistakes. So, the diffusion is called Rosenfeld scaling D or I sometimes would do effective diffusion in an interacting system is A e to the power B A S X and then S X is entropy minus ideal entropy. There is one more application which I have not written down because it was not written in the book. So, this is actually cut and paste from my book. So, this beautiful relation is called Rosenfeld scaling. This is big, lot of papers are being written on that on the last 5 years or 6 years and it in a liquid or dense gases, these equations works surprisingly well, but so one plots this quantity against x. So, you can understand one thing is ideal is the idea uh, the maximum entropy that it can have. So, because of correlations and order entropy decreases, so A s x is negative, more it becomes negative, more the diffusion decreases and it describes the results exceedingly well. And where I was saying that, where we had to use it in a gas liquid nucleation, there 
we needed this uh, free energy calculation G minus T s and when a low temperature gas is going into liquid, then the free energy of the gas has both entropy and enthalpy. You can make an approximate assumption that entropy of the gas is given this quantity and that is where in nucleation it is widely used. You, know, you can, there is a book, uh, I forgot the name uh, or several books on nucleation, you will see that use. Now and beautiful result, I think it is, it is done very badly that from here specific heat is the temperature delivery of entropy, right? DSDT is specific heat, T DSDT. And I can do that now, I can go, I do DSDT, do the derivative here and then ln term, there is no temperature here now to complicate things. So just ln T to the power 3 by 2 plus other things are here, they disappear when I take the derivative. I just have ln t to the power 3 by 2. So that becomes just like before 3 by 2 and ln t becomes 1 by t and then I, this, it comes in denominator and then very interesting, it comes in and leaves me 3 by 2 term just like before. Then this t removes that t in the denominator. Is that clear? And then I have 3 by 2 comes from this 3 by 2, I have a NKB. So specifically it is just 3 by 2 NKB when N is Avogadro number, CV is 3 by 2 R. So this is the derivation of the ideal gas law. So the two, these are really beautiful stuff which everybody should know by heart because we, you, you will use them. In, uh, always, always when you start thinking about interacting system, start thinking with the ideal gas. So, PV equal to RT, CV is 3 by 2 R. So, these are the two things that we, so the things that you are under, first year undergraduate physical chemistry, first year undergraduate physical chemistry that comes out from a rather sophisticated thing. But you of course understand when we exp uh, introduce such a sophisticated thing, this was not the goal of statistical mechanics. This is kind of things on the way. These are kind of rewards you get, but you are not, that's not how you started. You didn't start to explain ideal gas. You start to explain interacting systems. We start by Newton's equation where there are forces between atoms and molecules. But these are the way we got. And it just makes you life ha happy you that you okay. We understand what you are doing and we are, we are on the right track, okay. Now some things which are really very nice, we should know. So example, translation entropy per particle, these are huge, that is what I am saying. So neon, this is 17.59, these are all given in the, my, my book. See most of the StatMac books are done not with, not with too much affection or love for this ideal gas. I'm, there is a strange language to use, but you should feel good about it, okay. And so asymptotically, I can get the entropy from a low density neon, that is doable and these are very nice agreement of the, why you chose neon argon krypton, can you tell me? One very good answer, second, exactly, exactly, so they are the good example of ideal gas. So, Exactly, that is a good answer, yeah. So, it agrees with the experimental values, okay. Now, if a canonical system graded into, then we can go to grand canonical, which we did the other day. This is a grand canonical, sum over, it is uh, just mu and kbt, right? This is z to the power n actually, frequency. So, this is a grand canonical partition function. And then, one can get the total number of particles and another expression for a, a, a chemical potential this is extremely useful in the density functional theory, exceedingly useful. So I can go from your grand canonical partition function, now I take the grand canonical partition with respect to chemical potential, the conjugate number I get the average number of particles in the system, okay. And then I can write a log of and, and make that into a density, v, I can v, bring V here. 
So n by v is density and i b2 is are beta u then I take the log then this is extremely useful quantity where chemical potential is given in terms of logarithmic and you guys know that in, in uh, this is the expression under the physical chemistry we use that chemical potential logarithm of density you remember that of course you uh, uh, we did not understand though Castellan is the best book on uh, physical chemistry even Castellan uh, that is a, where you can understand but even then there was no meat to it why did we write chemical potential the first term in a non-interacting non ln rho this is the the uh, beautiful equation that comes out. So, chemical potential is given in terms of density as a log vector. Oh, lambda is this uh, lambda is a uh, de Broglie wavelength uh, 2 pi kbt m kbt by h square. Uh, sorry, thank you, thank you very much. So, lambda is 2 pi m kbt by a square. So, let us say m, 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 l square by t square, then everything else, uh, these also have m, l square by t square. So, I, uh, I think this half, uh, that is the length scale, exactly, that is what I was trying to so do here. So, it is, it is a de Broglie wavelength. That comes out naturally. When you do these things, the length is always sitting there. I could have introduced and I should have introduced there, but does not matter. So, this is a beautiful result, a gem of a result that uh, was that a gem of a result that uh, chemical potential. So, is the change in internal energy on addition of an extra particle when entire volume are kept fixed, you know. So, all these things we, we, we do not need to do at this point. So, we have got this, this important result. And then another important result, we write it down here. When I studied, the reason I am so excited, I am talking about it. When I studied statistical mechanics, nobody told us that this will be so important. And we had to go back every time. Chemical potential has to have the dimension of, and this has to be dimensionless. And this has to be dimension of energy. Okay, always keep a, a on dimension because you know if you cannot do analytical work, I'm telling you when you go to postdoc, you will be in miserable shape. Everybody expects because they are they do it from. I have seen in my uh, not so bright American colleagues, my students, they are very good in very basics because that has been. They repeat these things from a seventh or eighth grade and all the way. The, even after going to PhD level, I had to take thermodynamics twice. And there they take thermodynamics 10 times. So, uh, they, they, ju they just grind it into you. You better know how to do very simple things. Uh, okay, yes. So, you that is what you will do next. Microcanonical is that because for getting the microcanonical, you need to need the energy levels. But a microcanonical, anyway, I can do without. A omega you can calculate by indication of the phase space. When you do that, exactly same result comes out. For example, I want to get the, uh, that is the one I want to do next in a very, very elegant way. The elegant way also allows me to establish connection with, so what is omega? Omega is the volume of the phase space. So that means given a volume V, and energy E, I have to now, it is a little difficult because say dr1 and I will do that, this is a very good question, that actually brings out why microcanonical is difficult. So, I have the kinetic energy putting in here now, but when I have NVE, I do not have this term at all. Instead, I have H has to be equal to e, that constraint and that is a difficult constraint. That means, I am within a volume in phase space. So, I have to impose that constraint. That becomes very difficult. We just did it in our, in, in one of the calculations. 
well we did it also before many times, but there is another way of doing it which is that in uh, quantum mechanics gives you the energy levels where you can put this constant much more easily that is particle in a box and then you can get the uh, microcanonical partition function among quantum mechanically and that gives you essentially the same result, okay.